What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street, man. Finally playing the game, but after uh, I talk about this Super Bowl 49 Seattle Seahawks versus the New England Patriots, man. I'm like, it was definitely a good game, man. It was one of the more, from, compared to last year's Super Bowl with the Seahawks and the Broncos, I, I really was like on the edge of my seat because, you know, it wasn't a blowout. It was came down the last last drive and, and people gonna be talking about the last play of the game and f until the next season started man it's just like so like weird to actually think that they would run the ball or not run the ball on on the goal line on the second down second and goal from the one they choose to pass and of course if they would have got the touchdown with while passing they nothing would have happened nobody would have questioned it <laughs> I, don't, I don't think nobody would have questioned it but the fact that it got intercepted on second down on the one with a pass play that does not go to Marshawn Lynch man this is really you gonna have to like come in and think about it because um I was watching uh in at the NFL Network man and I, I saw how how Deion Sanders was talking about it and at first he I believe it like it's like that. He was saying it's the worst call in, in Super Bowl history, and I'm like, you probably right because if I do have Marshawn Lynch in the backfield, I'm definitely running the ball on the one yard line. They probably would have got the touchdown. <laughs> he he's just that type of person. They probably would have got it. He's done it many times before, and that's what they do throughout the whole season. So stick to your, stick to your identity as a team. The Patriots stuck to their identity. Peyton Manning threw like 50 passes and offered two interceptions, but they did not choose to run the ball when they had to score touchdowns on from like the seven or five yard line. They didn't choose to run the ball with Garrett Blunt, who's I think he's actually bigger than Marshawn Lynch. They didn't choose to run the ball with Garrett Blunt because that's not who they were. They got Tom Brady back there. Why would they run the ball with Garrett if they got Tom Brady, who's appeared in six Super Bowls and all this other stuff? But that they stuck to their identity. Um, the Seahawks they didn't by passing the ball. Russell Wilson's a, he's a he's a great quarterback. You know what I'm saying? He just made the play was like really. It, I think in another game that would have been called is pass interference on the defense because in the replays he actually hit the wide receiver about like half a second before he touched the ball, but. During that whole game, I don't remember there being one pass interference call. There was like a face mask call um, on the, uh, I think it was on the Seahawks or, I, yeah, I, no, nah, I think it was on the Patriots. They grabbed uh, Chris Matthews. The the six foot five first catches in the Super Bowl, first touchdown. They they grabbed his face mask, man, and that was like the only like wide receiver, cornerback, or DB call that I, I was I noticed all game, but. Anyway, if it wasn't a pass interference and he still got the ball intercepted, um, they they explained that the Patriots came out in the goal line front, but still had three cornerbacks on the field. And when I see goal line, and even in Madden, in Madden when I see goal line, I know it's not guaranteed that I'm gonna do anything. I know it's not guaranteed that I'm about to score a touchdown if I hand it off to say like Steven Jackson or Marshawn Lynch or Garrett Blunt. I know it's not guaranteed that they about to score but um it's not guaranteed that, that anything that passing the ball is, is um the right thing but when I see goal line when I see the computer goes into goal line I'm I, I, sometimes I switch in the passes if I definitely have three wide receivers on the field I will call a pass and unfortunately it was just a great play like by the by the cornerback he jumped the route and he had to like really come up far for that route to get the interception and he jumped it and he timed it right and he got the interception to seal the game but it wasn't that well well since it didn't work it was that type of bad call that, that will be rem remembered from that Super Bowl for like forever but the thought process, I actually can see it now. Before I didn't see it, I was all with Deion Sanders and everybody else. It was like, nah, they should have given it to Marshawn Lynch, man. He's the best running back in the league. Most touchdowns. They're not going to stop him. They're probably right, but you you really just never know. And Michael Irvin brought up, he brought up a great point. He was like, if 
if they were going to lose the, in the Super Bowl, he said it would be a better a, a, a better loss if they made it if they lost when Marshawn with Marshawn Lynch getting stopped on the goal line three times. If they if the Patriots would have stopped Marshawn Lynch on the goal line, then that would have been he said that would have been a, a better loss. He can't have really a better loss, but it wouldn't be a loss like this one. Like they, they threw an interception out as questions. But it would have been they lost with going to their best option. Not their like fifth option or fourth option. They they lost with the best one that they had and the Patriots stopped Marshawn Lynch, their best offensive player. And that's how they would have lost. And that would have been, I would have been fine to me. That would have been fine to a lot of people because that's their identity. They run the ball. That's how they got to the Super Bowl. That's how they won the Super Bowl last year. Because Marshawn Lynch was just, was just a beast. You know what I'm saying? He's beast mode. But um, the way they, they set that up, man, they, I can understand the call, but I still wouldn't, I still wouldn't even call it uh, in the end zone with Marshawn Lynch. I, I really just needed to understand it at first because. I'm, I'm telling you, in Madden, I've done it before. I, I've called three wide receiver plays on, like, the three-yard line, two-yard line, and I scored touchdowns, and it was just the play they called is, like, the, everybody in the NFL uses all this bump, bump and run, the bump stuff and setting picks <laughs> somehow with the routes, and everybody uses it, and the cornerback, he said he remembered it. They, they were stacked. I mean, even if they are that I would have known that somebody was going to try to set a pick or something like that, try to bump into me. So he did stay real far back and set up real far from the wide receiver, and he ended up still coming up to make the play. So it was definitely a great play by an undrafted player in the Super Bowl, man. It's it's really crazy right there, man. But, hey, man, wait till next year. If I was going to be in the Super Bowl, we got Dan Quinn. I don't know about the Seahawks. I don't know about um how they defense going to play. I guess they're going to run the same defense, but I don't know because we got the Falcons got Dan Quinn, the defensive coordinator of the Seahawks, the former one. They led them to two Super Bowls, and hopefully the Falcons going to end up just like that, man. We get some good players, get some get some good schemes going with the defense, and that'd be all right. But the Super Bowl was definitely a good one, man. I did like I did enjoy watching it. And, you know, everybody don't like Richard Sherman. And they, for some reason, man, people don't like the Seahawks. They started fighting at the end of the game. And, I mean, that fight didn't really, like, to some people, the, the, the fight was like, oh, the Seahawks are classless. They, they suck at losing. They, they're sore losers. And I'm like, I, I really didn't care about the fight. It was entertaining. I saw Gronk get spine busted. But it, it was like, <laughs> it was something like I, I really didn't like. I wouldn't judge the Seahawks because of that. And then some people say they, they didn't deserve to be there in the first place. They didn't deserve to win. And I'm like, you, they just don't know. Don't know how much time the uh, football players spend practicing and doing all this other stuff. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 if, you, if you make it to the Super Bowl, you obviously deserve to, to get there. You can't let your judgment of somebody on the team or people on the team um, – Determine how you think about the entire team because I'm pretty sure nobody believes that about Russell Wilson or anything like that or, or, or Luke Wilson the tight end nobody really thinks that of them but they let uh, one their their, um, their opinion of somebody's personality on the team determine how they feel about the entire entire team as a football team not not the entire team's personality I guess it's just a football team like that but um you know it's been it's been a uh, great while. I'm glad I'm playing again. I got stuff set up where I'm going to be putting out videos faster. And I got some inspiration from a whole lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to stop doing YouTube, but I definitely wasn't going to be taking it as serious. But um, I looked at my, I looked at one of my friend's channels. And I looked and I looked at his videos. He had over 100 videos in one month. So I'm like, yo, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? I could make 100 videos in a month. So I'm definitely going to be on pace to starting off strong, starting off February strong, you know what I'm saying? Coming back with Daniel Taylor and Quincy Blunt, man. I, I didn't even talk about the gameplay in this in this game, but this was the first game that that uh, I did play with both of them with the uh, player lock in the uh, career mode that I'm in. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. This it, is actually like, 
a lot of work, to be honest. I, sometimes I forgot to switch to the play a lot, and I ended up showing the play, and I was playing with Matt, or I was playing with everybody else, and I didn't show those plays, though. But sometimes I did forget. You know what I'm saying? I go through a lot for these videos, man. And to Demetrius Alexander, man, I, I can't reply to none of your comments. I don't know why, but I see him. I thumbs up, I put a thumbs up on it because I can't reply. Uh, I don't know if that's with settings or something like that. But I'm showing y'all the stats right here because you know Daniel Taylor is a monster. This team might be unstoppable. Blew out the Saints, man. <laughs> 42 to 14, but it was a great Super Bowl. I'm great to glad to be back. But uh, this video is about to come to an end. So always remember, in the streets we trust, I'm out.